Moving on, also on what's brewing, California-based pathway that is building live AI systems that think and learn in real time as humans do has raised $10 million as seed funding. The round was led by TQ Ventures with participation from Cadmos, Innovo, Market One Capital and ID4, as well as several high-profile angel investors. Now, the fresh funds raised will help pathway advance the development of live AI. And to elaborate more, joining me now is its co-founder and chief scientific officer, Adrian Kosovsky, also with me is my colleague Arundhati. Adrian, welcome to Startup Street. Now, live AI, as we know, will be a critical enabler of the next generation of LLMs that support complex reasoning. Tell us how Pathway empowers organizations with complex changing data sets to embrace real-time intelligence. Take us through your core offerings. Shruti, Arundhati, thanks so much for having us. So, in, indeed, like 2024 has been the year of consumer AI going and organizations have also jumped in it. And uh, the realization has come that it's not so easy to implement AI in organizations. Uh, some things are missing. So companies uh, that uh, have been struggling for, for years to uh, put their data into place are still struggling to make it usable from an AI perspective. Uh, Pathway here comes as an enabler, allowing organizations to actually combine the data that they have put into place, their internal data that's fast changing, that's very varied, that's tuned to the needs of a given enterprise, and to combine it uh, with the capabilities of today's and tomorrow's intelligence systems, large language models, and whatever whatever fancy um, uh, new new things the future the future will be. So we come in as an enabler layer, allowing to combine. A traditional enterprise data, the data that enterprises are collecting that they have access to, both documents, databases, flows of data, documents, uh, data coming in, in in real time, with the intelligent layer that today's uh, today's uh, big foods bring. Right, absolutely. Hi, Adrian Arundhati, just stepping in here. You know, you sort of explained to us how this platform works. You've even given us a use case. But you know, what are the challenges you foresee in building and growing this kind of technology? What catalysts are needed at this point in time? Also, if you could talk about, talk to us about, you know, the future of this technology and what it would look like. Absolutely. I think the biggest challenge is actually understanding the types of intelligence that are emerging because different uh, use cases, different enterprise projects can start out in such a way that it's not very clear at the beginning how to approach them from an intelligence perspective. We have like two main kinds of uh, intelligence. You can say you have the human kind of intelligence, the, the kind of intelligence that comes with judgment, with experience. So from, you have to kind of internalize a lot of knowledge over time and then make sure to uh, take good conclusions based on experience and intuition. And then you have another kind of intelligence, which is more like, let's say, technical, more machine-like, where you have to churn through a lot of data yeah. and uh, then uh, be able to, uh, to, to do very precise data, different conclusions based on that. Uh, I think if for, for a lot of the, the viewers of CNBC, you'll see a lot of analogies to the type of investors there are, there are the investors who, who look more of like from a kind of global yeah. economics perspective and the technical investors. Right? So many enterprise projects starting out also uh, kind of don't really know what, don't realize what kind of intelligence okay. will be needed. And we have hmm. to come in and, and enable a way to deliver whatever is needed. So both kinds. Okay. All right, Adrian, you know, Pathway caters to businesses in regulated industries with complex data requirements, uh, you know, including NATO and La Post. Take us through your scale of operations, the partnerships that you've built so far. So Pathway aims to be an enabler for large scales of data uh, with uh, La Poste, the French postal services. Uh, we are happy to partner at the level of their global uh, operations uh, to enable uh, the uh, intelligence on top of uh, tens of thousands uh, of enabled vehicles and uh, millions of uh, data points coming in in, in, in real time to uh, streamline fleet operations and to provide uh, a visibility layer, which is uh, unparalleled uh, 
uh, in in the logistics world, in the real time movement world, which 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 kind of stems from the data and brings us closer towards overall strategic insight. Uh, with uh, operations which uh, which concern other enterprise, we we generally strive to have the same kind of approach, starting from large data sets, collecting the large data using methods that are adapted to to very large data flows and making them work with more and more like high level insights. So it's like the flow of information for an organization which come, starts out at the, at the tactical level going through uh, levels which are more and more strategic. Uh, same, thing, same thing here for the type of partnerships we, we go for. And uh, this, is, this is where Pathway has a strong differentiation in being able to uh, enable this kind of mix of uh, strategic and, uh, and, and tactical intelligence. Right, absolutely. So as you know, you've been saying this is a game changing sort of technology. How soon before big tech is able to replicate this? It's it's a good point about the uh, the way big tech approaches uh, problems. Uh, as as you see, uh, most big tech players uh, have this, uh, at this point an offering which is uh, a kind of cloud offering. So you'll have major cloud providers bringing cloud technology to their customers, and they will usually be offering some kind of AI offering. It's kind of not exactly put, put together. Uh, we have uh, the strong belief that actually the integrated offering uh, is uh, uh, is the right way about it. So we are approaching it completely differently from a uh, from a market uh, perspective. You cannot separate the cloud components and the intelligent components. They have to come together in one brick. And there's actually also scientific evidence behind this that this is how these systems have to operate. Uh, it's it's a bit like if you have a human and you uh, give them a manual, let's say a manual to operate a Boeing 737, it wouldn't make me a pilot kind of overnight. You have to internalize for knowledge over experience. So we believe yes. that this, this approach is, is, is unique to what we are doing. All right, Adrian, on that note, we'll have to wrap up our conversation. But many thanks for joining us on Startup Street and wish you the very best with all your growth plans.